there's a simple math problem flooding the internet right now that is stumping hundreds of people. Now, being the hard-hitting, serious news reporter that I am, I decided to hit the streets and ask Canadians if they could solve it. This is one simple math problem, like a grade two could solve it. And we're all Asian, we can get, we're good at math, we're good at math, all right, ready? There are 30 cows in a field and 28 chickens. How many didn't? <laughs> what? How many what? Well, listen to it again, maybe you're not catching it. There are 30 cows in a field and 28 chickens. How many didn't? I'm stumped, I don't know. 30 cows in a field and 28 chickens. How many didn't? No, I don't get it, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. No, sorry. Oh, but it's simple. It's a simple question. But what's the answer? <laughs> there are 30 cows in a field and 28 chickens. How many didn't? What did they do? You never told me. You're a teacher. You're a teacher. You should know. What grade do you teach? Uh, this year, grade three, but... They, they, okay. There are 30 cows in a field and 28 chickens. How many didn't? How many did it? Didn't. Oh, didn't. Oh. Yeah, okay, that, now I think you understand it now. Yeah. There are 30 cows in a field and 28 chickens. How many did not? I don't know, like two, because there's a difference of two. I'm so confused. I I'd really like, like my to. time would be better spent doing something else right now. Yeah, I'm not <laughs> friend here is just pissed I'm at this point. Sorry. I'm done. <laughs> Maybe if we all repeat it. Okay, there are no, 30 no, cows no. in a field <laughs> and 28 chickens. How many did it? 28 and 30. Yeah, add the two together. No. Uh, so two, sorry. Two. No. Th thank you. Okay. okay. <laughs> You'd think they'd know. They look like they were from a farm. Well, it turns out Canadians are just as stumped on this one as the rest of the world. So I guess my only question left for you is, there are 30 cows in a field and 28 chickens. How many didn't? Think you know the answer? Leave it in the comments and share it with your friends to see if they can solve it too. For The Rebel, I'm Matt Phillips.